Star Atlas community, welcome to Zero to Hero, a new series on this channel where I'll be taking you on quite an adventure. We are at a unique moment in the Star Atlas timeline where you could basically take zero dollars and grind your way to Goliath Fortune. And I, Atlas Theory, want to take you on that journey. So let's begin. Now, like any great story, we need a lens to tell it through. As you know, I've been living out my Star Atlas journey through the character Atlas Theory, which is a mud character. But for this series, we're starting new, we're starting fresh, we're starting in the Oni region. So let's imagine for a moment a building in need of serious repair, and we happen to begin our journey in a room in that building. We are an unnamed Oni character, starting with 10,000 Atlas in our pocket. All right, now, Atlas Theory, you said that we could do this for zero dollars. Well, here's the beautiful thing. We will begin our Star Atlas journey using Star Atlas Golden Era Escape Velocity. This is a movement test from Star Atlas on the Solana blockchain, where for 1,000 Atlas, you can spawn a ship. Now, when you despawn this ship, you'll be able to get that Atlas back. So we will need we will need some Atlas and we will also need a little bit of Solana for transactions. Now this is kind of like the big asterisk on free, right? Because this is the blockchain, we do know there are gas fees involved. And luckily on Solana, they are very, very minor. Also, the Atlas that we're putting in to play the game, we get back as we despawn our ships. So really, we're basically virtually spending zero dollars. Now, what Escape Velocity allows us to do is spawn ships, go around the map, and scan for treasure. These can be resources used for ships. These can be Atlas drops. Uh, there are special posters, special habitat paints, a lot of great prizes. We are looking to do, since we're brand new, we own no ships, we own no claim stakes, this is a new character. We are looking for those special posters and hab paints in hopes that we can flip them and eventually buy a ship. But we'll get there when we get there. Those are later episodes. We're starting new, starting fresh, seeing what we can find. But that is a strategy. I've talked to many of you guys who are new to Star Atlas over on Twitter um, who don't have a lot of money, but you have a lot of time. And that's what this series is for. It's for those grinders. We just happen to be doing that through the lens of a role-playing game character. It is my hope that this character grows with us on this channel. I will have one character per faction. I am a role player at heart, so I want to experience each of them. Um, so that is kind of why we're doing it through this lens. Now you're probably wondering, how are we going to do this? Well, let's get into the details. First, you're gonna get a Soul Flare wallet, and I'll leave that link down in the description. You're going to get a private key, write it down, store it somewhere, uh, make sure that's hidden because whoever can get access to that can get access to your account. Now, once you set up Soul Flare, you'll have a main account, but what you can do, what you wanna do, is open a burner wallet. This will allow us to auto approve transactions while we're playing. So you don't have to hit accept <laughs> every single time you scan or you move a ship. After you get that burner wallet, what you're going to do is drop a little Solana in there, drop our 10,000 starting Atlas, and we're going to be set to go. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comments below and I can help you guys out. Now, Atlas Theory, I don't have 10,000 Atlas. Well, you don't have to have 10,000 Atlas. I'm using that as kind of a starting point for us to spawn 10 ships because I kind of like the number between 9 and 10 while scanning personally. I find it very efficient for scan, move, scan, move. But you can go in with one ship. You can go in with three. It's really up to you guys. So we have our little bit of Solana in our wallet. We have our Atlas. Let's go have some fun. Now I've already been playing for quite a few hours, but as you can see, I have found some posters, some Atlas, some habitat paints. So what we're gonna do is claim these. These are dropped monthly, by the way. So if you don't see them in your wallet right away, it's supposed to be like that. Again, guys, this is a grinding strategy. So you're gonna spend a lot of time in escape velocity just getting as much loot as you can. 
the resources are great because we will eventually have a ship that we will need to pay those resources for. So don't be discouraged if you're just getting a bunch of resources. It's actually a good thing in this strategy. And that's really it, guys. It's grind and sell, grind and sell. And we're going to be buying ships. We're going to be buying claim stakes. I'm going to take you on that whole journey. Keep up the grind. Keep stashing these items. This is, like I said, a very unique point in the Star Atlas timeline where we can start for basically zero dollars and build our way up. Now we need name suggestions for our Oni character, so leave them in the comments below. Also, if you think this is gonna turn out to be a great series, hit that like button for me. I can't wait to build upon this idea, create media with this character, and a whole other bunch of ideas that I have. Good luck on the grind, good luck with those loot drops. I'll see you guys later, and may the blessings of Iris be upon you.